Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. Hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Sagittarius, thank you for all of the likes, comments, donations, and dis describes, subscribes to my channel. They truly mean the world to me. If you guys are seeking a private reading, you can find that info in my about section on my page. Um, as well as my Instagram. My Instagram will also be in the description below if you want to follow me. Let's get right into your reading. We're going to be taking a look at your current energies that are surrounding you. Mm. The Magician in Reverse, Cherry in Reverse on the split. Let's see what you got. Spirit. What energies are surrounding Sagittarius at this time? You know, death as the first card out. Every single Virgo and Aries also got death in there. I think theirs were in reverse though. And we have the moon. We got the hermit on the bottom. I feel like you're going through a. Um, whew, that's giving like dark night of the soul type of vibes. The hermit, the moon, and death. You're going through a lot of um, internal very very impactful deep internal changes i feel like you're starting to acknowledge the parts of you that or the parts of a situation that you're in that you didn't want to see for a long time i feel like that's what's starting to kind of come to the surface for you the star in reverse Something is needing to be like healed or maybe you just lost faith in a certain situation with the five of pentacles. It speaks to healing and <laughs> leaving something in the cold, moving in a new direction. What else we got? Ace of swords on the split. I do speak the truth. All right, two more. We got three. Eight of Cups in reverse, Tower in reverse, Hermit in reverse. Yeah, I feel like what's changing is like you're starting to potentially, you might be opening up more to people around you, but I think this is more like Sagittarius between you and yourself. Bottom of the deck, the Chariot. You're, you're choosing to walk a different path, you know. I feel like you got fed up with something or a version of yourself that was just it wasn't working for you anymore, you know? You were growing tired of keeping certain things suppressed. I feel like you're trying to heal and grow and elevate and move forward in very successful, prosperous ways. And I feel like you've hit this roadblock where it's like, in order to do that, you know you have to let some things go, right? With this Eight of Cups in reverse and the Tower in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. It's like... This was a, a time period or a part of your growth or progression as a being that you most likely would have liked to have avoided for as long as you can. And it's not that you did anything wrong, right? Just as human beings, we need to heal. And like sometimes healing means we got to feel it, <laughs> you know? And in order to feel it, we have to acknowledge that it's there. So I feel like you're you're in this period right now of getting to the core of the things that you know you need to acknowledge are there so that you can feel them, so that you can release them, so that you can change and grow and elevate and basically just set your life on a whole new direction or a, a whole new course, right? That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. I like it though. I like it a lot, Sagittarius. This is very... um 
This is like a choice. Like nobody has to do this type of stuff. You know, you don't have to heal in this way. You can just you can keep all of your past experiences and pain and stuff that's happened to you. Like you can you can wear it on your sleeve. You can you can carry it with you and hide it from yourself and the rest of the world. You, there's a there's a million different ways you can go about living life, but you're choosing to basically take the path of least resistance in the long run, right? You're choosing to address certain things and let certain things go so that you can just be done with it, right? And you can evolve and grow and elevate, especially in regards to your spiritual path um, with the star here and the hermit here and death. I just feel like there's a lot of things you're letting, look, four pinnacles in reverse. You're trying to let go of something and a lot is changing for you. To set yourself free, you have to basically look at things in a way that you're not used to or go about things in a way that you're not used to going about them, you know? But it's all, there's, you have the bigger picture in mind with this two of wands, you know? You're not necessarily reluctant to do this or make these changes that you know you need to make because you see the bigger picture. You see why you need to make these changes or heal this this aspect of you or whatever it may be. Let this old relationship go or the wrongdoings that happen. It's like you see why you're doing it. There's a purpose and a reason behind it, right? I feel like a lot of it could stem from people that have lied to you or deceived you in the past. Um, promising, making you promises they couldn't keep and you're just ready for something new. I feel like you're letting go of resentment, guilt, shame, pain, hate, love. You know, I feel like you're letting go of a lot of very impactful or like big emotions or situations that happen to you so that you can just start fresh. But not only start fresh, start fresh as a new version of you. You know what I'm saying? Clarify death. Three of cups. You could be changing the environments that you're finding yourself in. Um, there could have been people or situations in the past that you thought were your friends or you thought the connection was really deep. Um, but then when you would like, I don't know, you were in your head a bit too much. When you would go home, you would realize like, why am I overthinking these people that are supposed to be there for me? These family members that say they're on my side. Like, why Why does, what about this environment does not feel wholesome with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse? When on the outside, everything looks like it should be fine, you know? So I feel like you're letting go of a lot of that, those type of people, right? Cutting certain people out. And that's going to come with the feelings or some type of feelings of a loss, you know? Clarify the moon. The King of Cups in reverse. You can't hide from your how you truly feel anymore, right? I feel like for a long time, these past situations could have had you feeling really emotionally unstable or emotionally unappreciated, right? You might not have felt seen, but now it's like you're making this choice to see yourself, acknowledge it, and just move accordingly. You're not letting the love you had for a situation or a person or whatever, you're not letting that cloud your the love or judgment that you have for yourself. Clarifying the star in reverse is the two of pentacles in reverse. This is finding your balance again, or in the process of basically restabilizing your energy. To me, this is you taking your power back because you have lost faith in something, right? This is you being real with yourself and acknowledging that you did lose faith in the past. These people did need to be let go of or that version of yourself, these feelings needed to be acknowledged. Like this is just you in this very radical acceptance type of energy. And you're also acknowledging the fact that you, there is healing that needs to take place because of all of that. Clarifying the eight of cups in reverse is the nine of cups in reverse. You kept going back to a situation or you kept finding yourself in similar situations that were truly just depleting of your own personal fulfillment and happiness, right? Your emotional fulfillment. You were not feeling very seen. And I feel like this the reason that this is so disappointing for you to acknowledge and potentially why you didn't want to for a long time is because, especially with the moon right here, mm, mm -hmm. um, is because 
when you have when you acknowledge that you you also acknowledge the fact that you were the one that was maintaining or kept going back to this cycle like the feeling of what is it not necessarily like i did it to myself but there's there is this aspect accountability is what i'll call it i guess like you, then you have to take accountability for the fact that this unhappiness was not all their fault right there was there's because you're aware of the bigger picture now or you have your sights focused on the bigger picture in regards to why you're making all these changes you also acknowledge that not it wasn't everybody else's fault a hundred percent as to why you found yourself in this unhappy environment or situation so i mean that's just speaks to this hermit energy like you're going within on a very deeper level you're looking at things in a way that you're not necessarily used to right you like being balanced with that temperance energy you like you like things to feel very grounded and you know you're a free spirit you're very adventurous and you're very deep and philosophical, but this type of deep is like, this isn't you thinking about life. This is you thinking about how you're showing up in your life and the situations and emotions that you find yourself in and feel how you've contributed to that, right? Regardless of the external factors, how have, what about you is contributing to your current situation? Now we have the six of wands in reverse and the tower in reverse. I feel like for a long time you, again, with this not feeling seen energy, I feel like you might have felt invisible in some past environments that you were in. Like you were not, like you knew you brought a lot to the table. And that's what's so disappointing about how things played out, right? People that were uh, supposedly like on your side or in support of you or on the same page as you, like you thought that you were seen, but these actions were taken, right? That weren't necessarily so blunt. It's like you had to look a little deeper at the situation to come to the realization that they never really saw you. They never really cared for you in the ways that they were claiming to, right? And so I feel like there's this disappointment or this conclusion that you've drawn for yourself that this not working out was a true blessing in disguise for you, right? The fact that you've removed yourself from this environment that you hoped would have been successful, but it wasn't, was truly you dodging a bullet, you know? And I feel like you're able to come to this realization or conclusion because of this inner work that is not necessarily comfortable to be doing, but it's getting done, right? I see you in your head a lot. You know, you could be a bit isolated from time to time with the sun in reverse and the hermit in reverse. But you're doing this all for a reason, right? To clarify the hermit. That's big energy. We got Virgo. We got Leo. We got Scorpio. We got more Leo. More Scorpio. We got some Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. More Scorpio. Um, Pisces, Cancer. A lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got some Capricorn. Yeah. Um, but... I just feel like you're done putting other people's happiness above yours, right? You're done uh, giving of yourself to situations that will not reciprocate the energy authentically and genuinely. You're done sticking your neck out for people that are just not real, you know? Your happiness is not the sacrifice that you're no longer willing to make for other people to be in your life. It looks like you'd much rather do your own thing and be happy than be surrounded by people and not feel fulfilled, you know? So I think in that regard, this reading is actually, that is a beautiful realization to come to if this reading is resonating for you because that's, that's different. Those are the type of people that they find peace in life. <laughs> you know, people that can come to that realization, look, they find peace. Nine of Pentacles in life because they they know that it's easier to be in your own energy and appreciate yourself than be surrounded by fake love or people that just don't actually appreciate you, but to your face they say they do, and then when you leave it's 
they're to doing things or saying things that prove they don't. Mm. Advice for Sagittarius? Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, let that shit go. Let that shit go. And you already know what it is that you need to let go of. Whether it's between you and you or you in a past situation. With this High Priestess here, you know what it is. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. One more. Justice in reverse. All oh, that shit in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. You're going through a major shift and change because of why? The Three of Cups in the upright. Because of these past people. I'm telling you. Uh, I think you need to take a closer look. Your advice is take a closer look at the circle you keep around you, the relationships that you have in your life, and really assess whether they're fair or not to you. Are boundaries being respected or not? Is shit balanced, right? Are you being seen, acknowledged, and appreciated for who you are? Um, is the offer that you are bringing, if, is what you're bringing to the table equivalent or somewhat equivalent is it is it worth what you're receiving right is this reciprocity that you're giving is the reciprocity existent in these relationships if not your advice is to let that shit go because right now sagittarius is not really about other people right of course we need other people to survive in life but until we can if if you see that things are not balanced and then you're still holding on it's like you're you're showing the universe that you still have not learned the value of, of what it means to truly love yourself, right? Because when you truly love yourself, you're not going to continuously stay in situations with the knowing that you're getting the shorter end of the stick every time, right? Like, I'm not saying everything has to always be equally balanced and perfect and no, but if you're being shown time and time again that the people that you surround yourself with or this person is not not treating you right, not respecting your boundaries, um, and things are just not working for you, but you're holding on just be in the fear of being alone, you know, you're holding on out of the fear of being alone, then you're going to continue to attract that vibration towards you, you know, and things are just going to continue to be this uphill battle. But if you're in awareness that that's happening and you and you just let that shit go, right? As hard as it may be, as difficult as it may be to face all those emotions, then you're going to start attracting like-minded individuals on that same vibration that value themselves to the same degree. And then there will be that reciprocity of, I value you because I, va because I know how to value me, you know? I, like, I know what it means to value my own time and energy, so I will value your time and energy just because we're choosing to exist in each other's worlds, right? But you're going to have a lot of work to do. You also could be, um, look, the hermit in reverse. No, yeah, this is a lot of work to do on yourself is what I'm seeing. <laughs> you're trying to get this. You're trying to come back into a place of like joy and abundance and peace. But I think it all starts with the self and a deep, deep assessment of what is what has us away from that peace? Why is it not existent, right? Why is it artificial with this moon and the king of cups in reverse? That's artificial happiness. Mm. Okay, but Sagittarius, this was your reading. Um, <clears throat> I hope it wasn't too real, but really I hope it was too real. I hope it makes you think. The cherry in reverse. It's time to pause, time to take a break. It's time to assess. Page of Swords, look at these people in your life Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at things before you proceed forward so that you can make the best decision for yourself and your life so you can move forward in that success. Sagittarius, this was your reading.